Next we're going to be attaching our Delrin bearings to our slot angle so that in the next step we can attach our two wire motors to them. Uh, it's very, very helpful these, uh, these indentations that you can see here in the slot angle are very helpful in uh, locating the correct position for the Delrin bearings. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the screws. Notice that I had these kind of pre-placed. It took about two or three minutes to make sure that I had these uh, lined up correctly. Uh, with the slot angle, um, <clears throat> it seems like definitely a spot where you could be making mistakes that uh, would cause you to have to disassemble later on and put things back together. Uh, so hopefully that is not the case here. <laughs> okay, so I got my uh, screws in. I'm going to go ahead and get the nuts on now. Okay, so nut number one, nut number two, and nut number three. Okay, and the instructions are really particular about where on the Delrin bearing you're putting your screws in and about what slot, into what slot you're putting the screws into. Okay, so there it is. Uh, that's our finished assembly thus far.